Hey guys, let's say you're in the key of C sharp and you want to play the 736 progression. If you're an intermediate, probably you would be playing that. 3, 6, if you're an intermediate. If you're a bit more advanced, probably you would play for the 7 and the 3. You could play that as the three or even this three if you're a bit more advanced you're a bit more fancy fancier and you play this for the six all that's cool and probably you're even more a bit advanced and you want to get a bit more flashy you'd play the tritone before you get to the seven so you're in the c sharp that's the flat five then you play the seven seven that's the left hand the right hand and then you play for the three and then you play the six as right that's cool so I'm going to show you four other ways in which you can play the 736 progression in the key of C sharp. So let's say the first one is Yeah, and for you guys who bought my MIDI pack, you would have heard this one. It would have been familiar to you. You would have already learned this. Yeah, so guys, if you haven't gotten my MIDI pack, what are you waiting on? You need to get it because I believe it will greatly help you. The link is in the description to check it out. So let's break it down. So the first one. Cool. So the melody would be. Cool. So the first movement. So in my left hand, I'm basically playing this from the E flat to the F. And the right hand is playing. You got that movement? So these two are moving at the same time. Cool. So let's move on. So that's, that's the next movement. So this is the next one. So we are here with the left hand. Cool. And the right hand only plays this. So we're here now. This is the left hand. You're having dissonance here. And the right hand is playing this together. You can do this, but is that what I did though? Let me see. Cool. All right, so that can work. So the left hand is playing the E. If it can octave the E from the C to the E. And the right hand is playing with this little movement at the top from the A flat to the B flat. So, na na. Now this is the next one. So you have a bit of dissonance here. So this is the left hand, the F and the E flat, and the right hand. Just two notes. And move this from the B to the C. Then the last one.
So in the left hand we have a B flat right here and we're sliding from the A flat to the A. And in the right hand, the right hand hits when you hit the A. So at the moment when you hit the A, that's when the right hand comes in. So it comes in after this note. The, the right hand would be this. The E flat, F, C, and E flat again. We're doubling up that E flat, man. We're doubling it up. So this is the final one. So this moved from the A to the A flat. And this C moves from moves from we move from the C to the C sharp. So these two move. So right hand C F and C again. So there you have it. Alright, so you notice I did from instead of just playing the C the E right here, I started from the C. So the C works with the B flat up here. And when I hit the E, that's when I move to the A flat. Okay, cool. So that's the first one. Let's now move on to the second way. So we're still in the key of C. Now you can also play this. So playing the song. Cool. So we're going to break that down. We're going to break it now. All right, so C sharp, the first movement is this. Basically, diminish movements. We're moving up by diminish, diminish. But I'm not playing, I'm not playing the full diminish. I'm not playing the G in the C sharp diminish. I'm not playing the G because I'm playing it in my left hand. So I remove it from here. Cool. So the first one is G in your left hand and the right hand we're playing the C sharp E and B flat and you can slide to give it that extra sauce you can slide from the E flat to the E cool so the next one is It's like you're playing this, but we're not playing the B flat. We're playing the B flat in our left hand. And we're sliding from the F sharp to the G. So we have. And we're just going down a semitone. So you carry everything down a semitone. So the B goes down to the A. The E goes down to the E flat. The G goes down to the F and the C sharp goes the F sharp and the C sharp goes down to the C. So we have semitone down. So we have it right here. And now we're gonna make a, a slightly big jump. So we jump from here to here diminish again so the right hand we have this left hand we have the C and in the right hand we have this but we're not playing the C here because we have it here so we have the F sharp the E and the E flat right and now we need to resolve on that E minor there's so many ways you can play the E minor so this is one way the left hand is playing the A flat, C and C sharp. And we have in my right hand, 
both the F and G being played by the thumb. You see, and you have the F at the top again. So you can do that. Or you can do you can do this. Cool. So that would be we're just simply bringing this G this A flat down to G. So we had first, but now we're bringing this down. And also we did some changes to the right hand. So this is the left hand. The G, C and E flat G, C and C sharp. And in the right hand we have it's like a F inversion. So it's an F inversion. And I slide from from the G to the A flat down to the A. So that's another way to play the six. So let me see again. This will be the same thing like the first one. I'm just expanding, stretching. So the first one would have been, but no, I just stretched a bit more since I'm able to play the F and G in my left hand with my thumb. I know I can move this up. So we have the C, E flat, A flat, and C again. So cool. So now let's break down the third one. You got that? Let's go again. Cool. Let's break it down. It's basically we're starting this run with our thumb on F. And then we're moving the, to the next one. You got that? So we're moving down. In the left hand you have the E. And in the right hand you have the G. So we have in the now we move down to the E flat. And in the right hand we have the A. And you can also add the F. So you get that sound. So the next one would be this is the F remains you add the C sharp and the B flat so we're here now we have the C in the right and left hand and we have this in the right hand so the A the E flat the F sharp the C so we're moving on in the left hand we have the B flat right here and you can remember so in the left hand we have the B flat right so in the left hand we have the B flat right here and you would remember this chord from the previous one so we have in the right hand the E G and the C sharp and we're sliding down from the F And this now is the final one. So we have the A in the left hand and we have this in the right hand. So it's the E flat, the F sharp, C and E flat again. So we're basically done. Just resolve on your six, the six that you choose, whichever way you choose a plate. So I play it like this. In the left hand I have this. Right? And the right and I have this. So you decide how you want to play it. I showed you some other variations prior to how you can play the six like this or cool. So let's move on to the other one. So we're in C sharp again. So we have this. So let's spray that down. So the first one is so we have a bit of slides going on 
So in the left hand, we're moving from the B flat to the A. And this works with the left hand moving from the G to the A flat. Are we going down a semitone? So here, we're going down a semitone. So carry this down one. And bring this down one. This down one. Cool. And we're going down a semitone again. So this down one. This down one. This down one. So we have. Right? Going down a semitone with this. And this. And this. So I basically flicked from the E to the F. And in my left hand, you can if you can't reach, you can simply play the A. But if you can reach, you can just play the F, E flat, and the A. Cool. Cool. So you can do that up to the G. Right? And that's how we're on the six. With the left hand, with the right hand playing C sharp, F, C, and the E flat. If you can't reach the E flat, you can just leave it at a C. And then we'll just move this upper semitone. And this upper semitone. Cool. Alright, so as a bonus, I'm going to give you this other one. Still in C sharp. So we're here. Cool. So I'm going to break that down. I know you like that one. So the first one is... So we have in the in the left hand the G and the C sharp. In the right hand we have the E. We're sliding from the E to the F, and we have the B flat. And all we're doing now is going down by semitones. A semitone law. So we move this G down a semitone, C sharp down a semitone. The F down a semitone to E and the B down a semitone. And you also can slide from the E flat to the A. So this is the third one, a semitone again. So move from this down a semitone, this down a semitone, this down a semitone, this down a semitone. And we're sliding from the D to the E flat I'm going down a semitone again for the final time so we're here F down a semitone and B down a semitone E flat down a semitone and A flat down a semitone and you can slide from the C sharp so we have no the final part we have So we have here. Okay, so the right, the left hand, we have the E flat, the A, right? And in the right hand, the left hand, in the right hand, we have C, F, and E. So you can play that little melody. Na na na. Cool. And you know, going down to diminish a lot of slides. So we have in the left hand, we have C sharp, G, and B flat. So it's basically the same thing, but I'm not playing the E over here. I'm playing it over here. I'm not playing the G over here. I'm just playing it over here. 
So I'm just interchanging them. Right? So this plays the E, this plays the G. So we have. Then we we'll go down a semitone. You can go down here, or if you want to continue the melody, because the melody is. Dun, uh, So I want to continue the melody. I like to continue the melody. So we have the na 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 or that. Cool. So we have C, F sharp, E flat. Sorry, E. And we have C, E flat, and C. You can also add the E, and we just resolve it. I showed you that already. Cool. So guys, check it out and let me know what you think. Let me know how much you like it, and let me know if it's something you can actually implement into your plane. I know it would definitely upgrade your cards from upgrade the cards from that. And if we're playing this, these are all things that sound good, but you can always try something different. Try something different. Come on, try something different. So guys, remember to like, subscribe, and remember to leave your comments, share the video, and until next time, stay safe.